Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel and hopefully welcome back because we are on episode 3. Episode 3 of season 1 of Mr. In Between. This one is called Captain Obvious. It's not so obvious why it's called Captain Obvious, but we might find out. We'll probably find out, right? I mean, we'll find out why the last name is called Unicorns Know Everyone's Name. They somehow managed to fucking crowbar that in. Um, anyway, so where are we? In the last two episodes, we met Ray with um, discovered his work. He's a bouncer, debt collector, hitman for Freddy. Um, he's, he was lonely, right, looking for love. He seems to have found somebody. Um, I'm a lover, very loyal to his friends. Last episode, his friend Gary got hospitalised in a parent deal went wrong. And I found out it was his, um, his Russian brother-in-law who organised it. So Ray, although we didn't see what happened, right? We never actually saw what happened. We're assuming he took care of business, right? We're assuming he avenged Gary and you saw how he went about it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Again, Mr. Between, you've got two sides. You've got the loving, caring father, friend, brother, all that good stuff. And you've got his job, right? You've got the other part on. The, the, the job, yes, but also the, the things he'll do for his friends outside of the job, right? The, the, the kind of a very specific set of skills sort of thing, right? But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it so far. See as well because it's short episodes. Like there's no bullshit, right? It's well written, it's well acted, it's short episodes, it's full of action, it's full of Australians, love it. So without further ado, this is episode three. This is Captain Obvious. I wonder though if there's gotta be like a a running theme through the Episode, if there's got to be like a a mission, or we've just got to be like, I say a mission like it's fucking Star Wars, or if it's just got to be like individual episodes, like day in his life, or there's got to be a bigger objective down the line, like a antagonist got to show up, or something like that. We'll find out, I guess. This is, this is episode three, this is Captain Obvious. Yeah, let's go. Harden the fuck up, man. Brilliant. That's so good. Harden the fuck up. Hey, ma'am. Hmm. You feeling alright? No, I mean, it feels like shit. Not bad. It's been better. For a bloke who's been in a fucking karma. Went to that brother in law of yours. Mm. He fucking set me mm. up. Yes, he did. And I'm glad you knew it, eh? What'd you do to him? Yeah. Bit of this. Bit of that. Is he alive? And the other pricks. I'll live. They'll live, so they're not dead. <laughs> I fucking owe you one. You owe him a lot, Gary. To be fair, mate, you owe him a lot. And what's with the fucking cowboy hats? In the old country days, fucking hardly anybody wore a cowboy hat. Mm. Especially inside. Johnny Cash never wore no, one. fuck, Johnny Cash never wore one. Johnny Cash never wore one. Now, every cunt's wearing a cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah. Why do you care with cowboy hats, though? Why do you care? Do you fuckers need wear hearts with corks on them? What's going on? Hey, did you tell Britty there's no such thing as Jesus? No, she asked me if Santa was I real. I don't care about Santa. Mm. Do you want me to tell you what happened or not? Sorry, okay. okay. Yeah. So she asked me if Jesus was real, and I said, um, I don't know for sure 100% if he was real, but I said he could have been. Real. You know, Quentin and I are raising your daughter as a Christian, right? Yeah, I know that, yeah. So why would you tell her something like that? Because I don't want to lie to her. 
You don't want to lie to her, but you tell her unicorns exist. Unicorns do exist. Unicorns do exist. Not shot on North Scotland. Of empowerment. Hi. Come in, come in. It's Ray, is it? Yep. All right, so now, now we're all here, we can get started. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go around the room, introduce yeah, ourselves. Narcotics or alcoholics, and, uh, is it? You know, just tell us a little bit about why you're here. Ray, do you want to you want to get us get us started? No. So, so what do you want me to do? Well, you introduce yourself first, See where? and then tell us why you're here. Okay. My name is Ray. Um, I'm forty. Divorced. Got a kid. Um, work security. And why are you here? Oh, I'm bash the bloke. And you've been ordered to be here by the court. All right, okay. Hmm. Anger management. Do you think that you've got an anger problem? No. No, I, I days of anger problem. Everything's controlled, isn't it? Everything's totally meant. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm here because, um, because my wife said she'd divorce me if I didn't attend, so. And why does your wife want you to be here? Uh, she reckons I'm angry. What do you reckon? Sometimes. Yeah. And when you, when you get angry, what do you do? Sort of, um, sort of lash out sometimes. Ooh. And hate your wife. My wife. Mm. Kids. Mm. You lash out physically? Go oh, on, mate. Oh, Carlo. Mate, look at Ray. Ray's, Ray's got to leave. Is everything okay, no, Ray? No, mate. It's Nay. I think I'm in the wrong room. Yeah. What makes you Because you're not doing a bunch of people hit women. Well, the person I bash was a bloke, not a child or a woman. And what's your point? Th these are a piece of shit. Well, no offence, but I don't really want to sit here with a bunch of fucking wife bashers and child beaters, you know what I mean? What the okay. fuck did you no, say? No, that's you a time out, time hey. out. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, 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 Maybe. I'm gonna ask you, did you bash the guys that that ripped off your mate? Mm. Yeah. Right, so those guys, the ones you bashed, they belong to a crew run by a guy called Davros. And Davros is my son-in-law's brother. Oops. Your son-in-law's yeah. brother. Hilarious. Uh, so I need you to go sit down with him. What for? Because he's fucking pissed. So? <laughs> so? So? Mate, this guy's family, okay? I'm asking he's you a favour here. He's Please, your son-in-law. sit down that. with him. And he should have kept better control of this fucking crew, should he? You may have raised him in a fucking jump through hoops this episode, right? Fuck. Vasily, what the fuck? We're safe. We're safe. Is safe? Is it safe? Yes. Safe money, money, oh, yes. Safe. Okay, okay, okay. It's in the fucking garage. Garage? Yes. Go. Vasily, mate. Vasily, honestly, have you learned your fucking lesson? Yeah, Ray, I'm getting rolled, mate. Hulk. He's just against him, is he? He's just, um... He's just buying time. Open it. I don't know the combination. What? I'll write it down somewhere. <laughs> Gary, you're brilliant. Well done, Gary. Okay, go, go. The silly is losing his nerves, he? Hey, hey, I just got out of hospital, mate. Just calm down. How much longer? Two minutes. Two Stop. minutes. I'm nearly there. How do you Minute and a half. Mate, I almost had it there. You put him off. Now I've got to start, start again. again. We'll start then. 
Well, fuck, just be Shut quiet. Up. Stop talking. I've got to listen to the fucking click. Silly. You stop talking. You stop They're talking. Silly. You stop talking. No, you stop talking. I can't hear the clicks. Do you know how this works? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, just fucking shoot him. I do, huh? You shoot him. What's your problem? Well, he's your fucking brother-in-law. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't want to do it. No. Where's your car? Here. Yeah. What? Chop him up. Fuck off. Why not? He's your fucking brother-in-law. You do it. Well, you keep saying that. He gives the fuck his brother-in-law is. Come on. I can chop him up later. I can't chop him up later. We gotta chop him up now. He'll be easier to get out in smaller pieces. Fuck, man, I'll owe you. Keep fucking saying that. Mate, you're already on. Hold on. You already owe him. Ooh. Ah! What's that? What? Fuck me! Vasya? Vasya? Papa gave me a on the dad's old beats me a. What? What the fuck goes on? Your fucking brother tried to rob us. Vasya? Yeah, he held a gun to my head. He said, empty the safe downstairs or he was gonna kill me. So who the fuck is the right war? He shot me in the head. What the fuck happened? Fuck your daddy! Wasn't he dead. wasn't dead. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. <laughs> fucking going on. Ray! Cop Novius. And the more she gets done again, right? Cop Novius. He wasn't dead. Well done, Cop Novius. I was brilliant. I was hilarious. Vasily's dead. They try to chop up. Cleaver wakes up. He runs up screaming. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> uh, you see the way they can. Even if it all happens, Ray's got no panic. Ray saunters up the stairs. Heartbeats probably is even. But yeah, um, again, I fucking, I tell you that banger. I just, you dig any filler episodes, right? I think it's because they're short. You dig any fillers. Um, yeah, so Gary's in the hospital. Gary knows about his brother in law. It turns out Ray didn't kill him. It turns out the two guys, though, who were silly, was working with belong to Freddy's son-in-law's brother, right? And Freddy wants Ray to make it right with him. Why? Why? Why should I? Because he can't control his fucking goons. Mate, they messed with the wrong person. They got their asses kicked. They're still breathing. Job's all right. But Freddy wants um, Ray to mark it okay because apparently his son's brother his son-in-law's brother is family. That's tenuous at best, isn't it? That's just... Yeah. Um, and Ray has got to go to anger management classes because... Oh, who? who who's it for? Who's it for beating up? Someone off camera. Someone we didn't see. And he ends up in anger management classes with guys who... They sort of take their anger at women, right? In raids, he's an ass. Like, I thought he was here for anger management. These are a bunch of wife beating pricks. Fuck them. And, uh, yeah. And you get threatened with jail for, for hand beliefs, right? And you get this, like, um, little social workery little prick. So, how do you feel when you're beating the shit out of your wife? Yes, and do you recognize the triggers? And, wait, fuck you. Some people are beyond redemption, right? Like, if you're a grown man, and you take your own group and your kids, like, then I go to a support group and fucking cry about it. Jump off a bridge or something. I shouldn't say I should on YouTube, but fuck it, right? Like, mate, if you take your own group and women or children, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I was at, and then we'll get the, the Vasily back. For the silly tries to rob Gary, because I mean, of all the people he could rob, he's robbing Gary. Does it look like fucking Gary's got a lot of money? Does it look like Gary's got money? But apparently he does. He's got some cash. He's got some guns. He's got some drugs. The silly wants it because the silly needs to leave. 
<laughs> got a Colin was a cucumber, by the way. It's, it's, it, again, he played so well. He knew Ray was on his way. He just took his time, pretending to open the lock. Oh, I need to call this upstairs. Take your time, take your time. There's a bug upstairs. We'll go upstairs and get it. And, and then uh, he shoots him in the head. No hesitation. He just shoots him in the head. They go chop him up. Cleaver on the arm. He wakes up. Pandemonium. Except Ray, right? Ray is cool as a cucumber. It's fucking brilliant. Always, I was episode three. Always, cop no race. Always brilliant. Love it. Um, leave a comment for me. Subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. And I will definitely, definitely see you soon for the next one.